Hello everyone and welcome, this is Orelash again with a new episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray. In the last episode, um... Yeah, half of our team died. Uh, but, but, get this guys, we got... The Earth Badge! Lovely cutie Earth Badge. Anyways, uh... Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's go into the Pokemon Center because we need to restore our health. Now, something important to mention. Um, we tried to go this way. Oh, as you can see, the gym is no more. Uh, Jesse and James destroyed it. Those idiots. Anyways, uh, I was trying to go through this path, but Officer Jenny is like, Excuse me! The route is closed. Officials are preparing for the Pokemon League right now, so you can't come through! So yeah, uh, I guess that means that we have to go and see Professor Oak, or maybe the nursery? No, this is still closed. So let's go to Pallet Town, because that's the only thing that I think we should can do at this point. Oh no! Um, how do I go back to Pallet Town? I've never been back to Pallet Town, so I have no idea. Oh, okay, this way. Uh, I really need um, repels. I should have bought the repels while I was in computer city or any other city. Oh, I didn't have any money when I was in theater, so... God damn it! No! Huh? Huh? What? There appears to be an invisible wall blocking our, your path. <gasps> Mr. Mime! It's a Mr. Mime! It seems to be constructing an invisible barrier. Stella, please stop! Won't you please let me capture that Mr. Mime? Mr. Mime, run away! The invisible wall banished! Oh no! Now what will I do? My name is Stella. I'm from the ringmaster of the Pokemon Traveling Circus. My Mr. Mime refuses to perform because of how hard I trained it, so I thought I might be able to catch another one. I don't know what I can do to inspire my Mr. Mime again? I know! Maybe if you battle with Mr. Mime... Maybe if you battle with it, Mr. Mime will be inspired to perform again. Let's give it a try. You're a... okay. You're a bad person. Um... Call Mime. We see... Toxic! Razor Leaf. Come on, come on, come on, one more! Yay! Uh, that was not a great idea to use so many coal mines against a Bulbasaur. What a great battle! No, it wasn't. Thank you, the trust. Mr. Mine is inspired to perform again. Now we can return to the Pokemon Circus and put on a wonderful show again. Cool. Okay. I don't know if I have to go and see the circus. Nah. Running, running, running. <gasps> Home. Mr. Mime, what are you doing here? Mr. Mime! Oh, the trust. It's wonderful. Well, what happened? Sorry. There we go. Oh, the trust. It's so wonderful to have you home again. And you have earned enough badges to qualify for the Pokemon League too! Hmm? What? Pokemon? Oh, you must mean my little... My little mime! It ran into our house because it was frightened. At first I thought it was... Returning from your... Uh, it was you returning from your journey. Mime's become a great member of the family already. It's so nice to have a Mr. Mime around the house to keep the, co the company when you're off on your Pokemon journey. That reminds me, 
You should go to see Professor Oak about entering the Indigo League Championships. I'm so proud of you, the Trust. Oh, by the way, the Trust, you will have, you'll be so pleased to know that I bought a warp program. It took, it took the liberty of installing it into your PC. Oh God, what am I? Now you can warp to any Pokemon centers you have already been into the entire Kanto region. Isn't science great? You can activate the warp program in your PC, in your room, or any PC in any Pokemon center. You don't have to thank me, I was happy to do it. Cool, so I guess that's how we teleport instead of using flying. I don't know how I feel about not having HMs. Um, okay, cut. Awesome. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> cut. Awesome. Rock smash. Awesome, but strength. That's a good HM. Sir. Surf, it's an awesome HM. So I'm not very happy that we don't have it. Fly, it's a decent one. I mean, it's stronger than most attacks, most flying moves in the game, anyways. So. Anyway, anyway, so there's Gary Oak and Professor Oak. Oh, what a surprise! You've earned enough badges to qualify for the Pokemon League, eh, the Trust? It just so happens you're not the only Pokemon trainer to show up today. Well now, I'm not surprised you showed up late, I'm surprised you showed up at all. Alright, calm down you two. Why can't Pallet Town's top two Pokemon trainers get along? That's right, four Pokemon trainers left Pallet Town on their journey. But you and Gary have earned the most badges. Um, and I am very proud. Jack and John both got off to an excellent start, but they just didn't have the skill. But Gary has 10 badges, and he just earned 8 badges. That's really quite remarkable. That's why I'm glad to, that you are here. It's time for you and Gary to participate in the Pokemon League. The Pokemon League? Beats the same place every year atop the Indigo Plateau. The tournament hasn't begun yet, though, so that gives you some time to train before it does. He can try. He can try, but even if you trust had a year to train, I'd beat him with both hands tied behind my back. I'm not saying you're a bad trainer, the trust, it's just you don't have what it takes to beat. Ah, this is interesting. Taking a look at both of your Pokédexes, and the result shows Gary has seen 60 Pokémon, different, different Pokémon, and the Trust has seen 130 Pokémon. Oh right, I beat Gary. And Gary has got more Pokémon than the Trust. Ha! Looks like I got more Pokémon than you did, the Trust. On your journey, you must, you, you each capture different Pokémon. With your different personalities, you learn to take care of four and understand them in different ways. My research has taught me that we need to deal with Pokémon like we deal with people, as individuals. That's why I became a Pokémon researcher. Not only does every Pokémon I care for, uh, I care for become a part of my research, but they also become a part of myself. I spent so much time with the Pokemon you trainers from Palette send me, they become an important part of my life. That, ex that explosion came from the Pokemon Coral! Out back, we better check it out! Ha! We followed you here so we could steal your Pikachu! Where well, I thought. Uh, floating around and uh, so hand over that rat and make it snappy. A uh, talking meowth! Incredible! Now hand over that Pikachu and any other Pokemon you got touched here, or you will have to battle us. Oh my goodness, again. 
unpredictable, it's only level 47, I mean he's stronger than most of my Pokemon though. So that's something. Ow, that hurts. Weezing! Go, or a lash! Thunderbolt! Survival! Almost! Yay, 43, 43, 40, 40, 40. Chabaka! Go, Rita! You! Uh, you're really, really going to your stockpile. Yay! Critical heat hit. Now, Lickitung, while should be more than enough to reach speed. That's fine, I only need it once. I'm toxic. And Racer B. Oh, yay! Bye bye, Lickitung. There we go. We lost the we lost the showdown. No. Why can't good things happen to bad people? We're blasting off again. I'm gonna head home now. This has been a long day, but I will see you at the Pokemon League Trust. You just better make sure you train as hard as I do. See you then, Trust. Well, the Trust, you have a lot of training to do before the Pokemon League starts. I'll be sure to let you know when the tournament begun. You know, you know, if you want to do me a favor, maybe you could head to Seaform Islands, east of here. I have, s I have been trying to understand how Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro. You could talk with Professor Westwood, the creator of the Pokedex, for me. Wait, what? The Professor Oak did not create the Pokedex? I'm sure he could enlighten you to, to the evolution solution. Just follow the Pallet River south. Thanks to trust. Oh, uh, okay. No, Orlash fainted. Yay. Hmm. Interesting. So my Pokemon are not really in a good level right now, which is not great. I guess I have to go down, down, that way, right? Right, right? Yeah, why not? Let's do it! <clears throat> she wants a Pokemon battle! Guess what? Wild is going to kill all of your Pokemon! Bye! No! Critical hit, eh? Alright, Orilash, destroy her Pokemon! She's a bad person, Pikachu! Don't don't let her looks mis misguide you! Ha! There you go. You killed my Bulbasaur. You're a mean person. You're a mean woman. Yeah, you're not even a girl, you're a woman. Uh, okay. Seeking. Racer Leaves. Why are all these Pokemon so high level? Oh my god. Tentacruel. Yes, I need to change. Thunderbolt. Shoot. Another Thunderbolt. Yay! Okay, let's restore Wild Elf. Starmie, level 50! Why are you level 50? Why? Why do you have recover? Oh my gracious god. Goodbye, Starmie. Yeah, that's right, you're dead. My Pokemon are so weak right now, so under level. That's not funny. Um, check out my uh, my uh, life fire. What? Golduck. Okay. Ow, that hurts. 
please. Yay. No. Yay. Yay. Goodbye, Golduck. You seem to be a decent Pokemon. But you were not enough. Smoke screen, really. Agility. You were already faster than me anyway, Zebra. Well, continue to do so. No! Please, wild. Yes, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Level 43. Cloister. Go, our lash! Protect. Really? There we go. Bird, bird, Pokemon. Bird, 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 Just... Hey you, check out these bad boys. Oh my. Gyarados? Shoot. Uh... Go Warrior Lash, please don't die. Damn it. You... You are going to give your life to the greater good. Bye or life. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. We use survive. Good job. Or lash now. Told yours. Gyarados is dead. Very, very dead. Another Gyarados, oh my god. But that Gyarados is also very dead. Oh my goodness, that was... Oh! Who have we here? So you are friends of Pokemon, of Professor Oak, eh? Please don't call me Professor, it's much too formal. My friends and associates all call me Westwood, the fifth. I'm a fifth generation Westwood, so you can see that I come from a, a long line of Pokemon researchers. At the moment, I'm solving a real life mystery. Slowly but surely, I want to discover why Shelter attaches to Slowpoke to cause it to evolve into Slowbro. I have been researching with my Slowbro. You may have seen it fishing on the beach. If I can understand why Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro, I have earned the right to call myself a Westwood. Cool. I think. Um. Anyways, guys, I think that will be it for today. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you. I, I really appreciate it, um, yay, three videos in a relatively short amount of time, this is awesome, <laughs> um, I don't know what I have to do next, I vaguely remember this part of the anime, but not really, so we'll see what happens. So, until next time guys, thank you very much, thanks for tuning in, and see you soon. Bye!